Recently I had a project where I needed to make a half dozen of these. These are an aluminum extrusion. It's 24 inches long. There are 30 drilled holes in this front and then there are 13 rectangular openings that are also milled out on the back to reduce the material thickness. Now it's not a terribly complicated part but I have to make a half dozen of these and it's exactly the kind of thing that on my old manual milling machine with no digital readouts it's exactly the kind of thing where I could easily imagine getting halfway through the part and turning a wheel the wrong direction or or measuring wrong and then screwing up uh, a fair amount of work so I decided it was about time to do a CNC conversion A few months ago, I remember seeing this on the Make blog. This is an announcement of the Garble Shield, an Arduino shield that has three stepper motor drivers and an implementation of Garble, an open source G code interpreter. Uh, the drivers could handle 2.5 amps per phase, which seemed to be enough for my purposes. So I headed over to the Synthetos website and ordered one of their Garble Shields. Okay, so here it is. This is the Garble Shield. It's a surface mount component board, two layers, attaches to an Arduino, like so. Makes a nice little package. This is the power supply I'm going to use. It's 27 volt, 11 amp. That should be uh, more than enough to handle all the motors going simultaneously. Okay, as you can see, I've now mounted my Gerbil Shield in a, an old hard drive case. Uh, so you can see the, the shield is there. I've got connectors running to uh, connectors on the front. I have these cables that will run to the motors. Uh, there's my USB connection. Power supplies there fans for providing cooling or blowing a little air over the shield. Um, switches on the front to control uh, the fan and power and uh, I've actually wired a reset button here uh, into the reset button there so it's just in, uh, in parallel um, so I can reset from the front panel. Oh and <laughs> so just because why not I ran light pipes from the LEDs here through to the front so that when the LEDs are lit up I can see them from the front panel. All right. The CNC tool chain generally goes like this. CAD is the process of designing the part. CAM is the process of analyzing the part and creating machine instructions. CNC is the process of controlling the machine with those instructions. For the CAD section, I'm going to use Moto since I already used it for work and it's awesome. I'll export to an OBJ file. For the CAM section, I'll use a Python script I wrote that parses the OBJ file and generates G-code. For the CNC section, I'll use a processing sketch that streams the G-code to the serial port and controls the garble shield. So going back to the part, the first thing I wanted to do was draw polygons that represent where I wanted my drill locations to be and I'm indicating that naming the part with the keyword drill as the first part of the name. The next thing was to have polygons drawn that represent the cutting paths for the rectangular holes and the name starts with poly which I'll have my code interpret as uh, I want to route out this polygon. And so I've done one for the front and for the back of this. And so from here I'll now export these as a Wavefront OBJ format, which is a text easily parsable format. Okay, so these are the OBJ files that resulted from that process. Uh, the O is the object name and it starts with drill so that means that I care about what uh, follows. The V's are vertices. These are the vertex positions uh, and their X, Y, and Z are the, th the three numbers. So that's for all the drill positions that I'm going to want. Uh, I don't care about this. This, uh, this is vertex normal. These are texture vertices. 
Uh, it's important for 3D shading, but not for what I'm going to use. Material library, uh, the group name, and then these are the faces. Now, I care about the faces if I'm going to route a polygon out. So here I have an object whose name starts with poly. And so these are the vertices that are the corners of the polygon. And then down here, these are the face definitions. And so for each line, there are indices into the vertex positions above that define the polygon. So for each face, I'll want to visit each of those vertex positions uh, and so on for the rest of the file. Next, this is my Python code. This is my Python script that reads this, these uh, OBJ files and converts them into G code. So let's do some conversions. Okay, so you can see here I've um, drawn a graph. So I'm starting at the origin and then I rapidly position to the first drill location. Drill that, then position to the next one and so forth going around until I get to the last drill position. So this little graph confirms that uh, it's doing what I expect. And then generated back in the window is my G-code. So this is the G-code that I'm going to send to the controller. And we'll do the same thing for one of my route patterns. Okay, so this is the one that started with polygon in the name, so it knows to interpret the vertices as um, routed polygons. So you can see I slew to the first polygon position, um, cut that out, um, then jump to the next one and then so forth for all of those. So here's the mill. This mill is a wrong foo mill. It's outfitted now with uh, a stepper motor on the z-axis, on the y-axis, and the x-axis. <clears throat> so I think we're ready for a test flight. Okay, so everything's hooked up now. Let's see if it's working. So to start with, I'm going to use the serial monitor that's in the Arduino development environment. And as you can see, I am talking to the Gerbil Shield. So let's check its settings. So these are the uh, units per millimeter, um, slew speeds, etc. And I think we're ready. Let's uh, send a movement command. and see how it goes. Okay, all motors are working. Now it's time to actually do a cut. Okay, now to actually stream the G-code, I'm going to use a processing sketch that you can download from here. So here it is. I'm going to run it now. And this sketch allows you to jog the motors back and forth, but most importantly, allows you to stream G-code. So I'm going to grab this. And as you can see down here, I'm streaming code and the motors are running.
All right, so these are the finished pieces. Uh, a lot neater and nicer than I would have been able to do manually. Overall, a good experience. I'm sure I'll do more with this now that I have this capability.